This video is sponsored by RX Bar. For 25% off your first purchase, go to rxbar.com slash Dylan and use code Dylan at checkout. Hey, my name is Alex Jackson, and uh, this is my little tiny home on wheels, uh, Norton. That's short for El Norteño, the northerner in Spanish. I am Canadian, and uh, I'm down here in Baja. This is my little dog, Willow, and uh, we like to travel together. I'm minus my wife right now, who's off in Australia racing her bike. I have been building vehicles since I was, I think, 17 or so. They've always been Toyota. It started with a 87 Toyota 4Runner, and it was a 88 pickup, and then it was a 96 Tacoma, and then it was a 2013 Tacoma. It was first, it was a rooftop tent, and then um, I bought like a little a bowler, which to the Americans is called a scamp. The two main things that I wanted for a vehicle to live in was diesel and 4x4. I drove with my truck on the on a trailer, dropped it off in Calgary, and then drove another like eight hours, picked up the van, and drove 12 hours back, all in two days. And then I had the van, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna build this in a month and a half before I leave for my like going south trip and got to work and it's in a month and a half turned into this. It was like eight hours a day, seven days a week. This is my 98 Toyota Hayachi. It is a four wheel drive diesel imported from Japan. This is my best answer to the four by four diesel question mark for uh, van lifing. I've got a little 2.8 liter naturally aspirated diesel. That gets me roughly about 24 miles per gallon, but I don't ever go over 60 miles an hour, so roughly 100 kilometers. I've learned through the years that having exterior lighting is um, really, really paramount and super important. So I mounted just a 20 inch light bar down here. I also put side mounted lights up here and on the back so I can flick those on when I'm, I'm looking off to the sides and, and when I'm backing up in pitch dark. Because the van is quite small and I didn't want to have a ton of stuff on the inside, I have this roof rack on top that I store a lot of my tools, uh, recovery gear, solar shower, solar panel. You'll notice that because this is imported from Japan, it is a right-hand drive. So I sit right here on top of the motor. This is the motor right down here. So far, I've been loving this little van. It's gone everywhere I want it to. Points for um, reliability. One thing I did right away on the van is I put BF Goodrich Alterine KO2s. I have this Airby awning from a previous build of mine. Up until now, <laughs> I didn't realize how much of a lifesaver it is. Being able to like have shade wherever I go is really, really important. Like. I don't get heat stroke every day from standing out in the sun. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> One good thing, if you don't have a, sh like a van big enough to have a shower inside, build yourself a cheap solar shower and it's absolutely fantastic, especially when you're dirt bagging in the desert for like weeks on end and you're like covered in sand and grit and your hair is just like <coughs> And I can just take an extension cord and go bloop right, right there and then my batteries are kept at 100% so long as it's plugged into the wall. Welcome to the interior of my van. I wanted to be able to cook outside and inside, so I did the pull-up kitchen thing. I got some 400 pound sliders, and they lock, and I have my kitchen here. I bought a Primus stove. I got this stove because it's really, really slim. It's actually a two burner backpacking stove. Here under a bunch of food, I have my five pound uh, propane canister, just hooked right into my stove. I can turn it off so it doesn't leak or anything. I got my pantry with all my food under here. I made a, a hatch so that when I'm on the inside of the van, I can just open it up and there's my stove and I can cook inside if it's pouring rain outside and I, I don't wanna get out. I also made a little hatch here. Um, so that I can get at my food. I have a 50 quart ARB refrigerator in there that runs on 12 volt. I have two AGM deep cycle batteries under here, underneath my refrigerator, hooked up into a C-Tech 
smart charger, which basically takes power from my starting battery and power from my solar and just combines it and makes sure that my batteries are always kept uh, properly charged at 100%. I did all the wiring myself. It was actually really easy. You just basically have to make sure that everything is um, fused properly. I have uh, a 1000 watt uh, pure sign inverter in here for 120 volt power. And then I also have like, that's my um, like fuse block. It's a blue C uh, fuse block and it just makes everything really, really clean. I have a really basic water system, which is just a jerry can, but I had pretty much all the cabinetry finished and then I was like, oh shoot, where do I put the water? So I modified this cabinet to store my water. So there's just a big jerry can in here that I can like pull out um, like this. And then I, I put it right beside my kitchen and fill up my, my pots and stuff like that. I built this little shelf up here just to kind of hold odds and ends. So I wanted to maximize the storage. So I built like all these cubbies pretty much anywhere I could. Uh, I have kind of like pots, cups and stuff, extra comfort around here. His and hers cubby. This is like bedding cubby. And then we have this little cubby down here that we put important documents or we can hide our laptops. And it's kind of hard to see. I have a little control panel here. I have like USB ports. And then if I turn it on, I can check uh, the voltage of my battery. Next is the coffee corner as we like to call it. So I have this little fold down, um, fold down desk, but then we keep all our coffee in here. I also have these little um, Christmas light things up here that when you turn them on, you get like this really nice warm light that is great for just like, you know, reading lights or setting the mood. We have a pull out desk right here, right in the wall. And this is great for if you're having coffee in the morning. <laughs> um, my wife uses this a lot. She loves this little, it's like a little nook. Next thing is the bed. Of course I need to sleep in the van. So I made it so that it folds out. So all I need to do is this. Also, um, before I do this, uh, our clothing is accessible underneath our bed. So I have two drawers that you can access from the back, but you can also get to the clothes underneath the bed. All I do now is, boom, I have these here, these here, and a sleeping bag there. And then just kind of throw the pillows back there. And there you go. You got like a, <laughs> I think the bed is six and a half feet long by like three and three quarters feet wide. So it's actually like, it's a bigger bed than we need. Um, we kind of determined that we could probably do six foot by three foot and be like perfectly comfortable. All I need to do is just go like this. that and I just hook these back up and there you go I got a bench I am a heavy uh, machinery operator uh, on my father-in-law's farm in Alberta so we have a large-scale grain farm um, with a bison component as well. Basically for five months, six months of the year, I bust my ass in the sense that I sit in a cab for like, you know, maybe average 15 hours a day, but it can get up to 24 hours a day. Crops gotta go in, it's gotta go in, and when it's gotta come off, it's gotta come off. And so I just work really, really long hours in a tractor for six months, five to six months of the year. I really like photographing I guess environments, but more so like how a vehicle component interacts with environments. Um, I love taking pictures of my vehicles like out in the middle of nowhere. And I think I would like to display through my photography that 
there's a great big world out there that you can go and explore really, really easily if you just kind of spend a bit of money, get into a vehicle, and just hit the road. I think that people need to, to get out into the great big outdoors and experience it for themselves instead of watching it on the screen. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to follow my adventures on Instagram, you can find me at roaming underscore North America or at AJC Media. Peace. Have a great week. RX Bar sent me a bunch of bars to taste test, and they're giving you 25% off your first purchase. If you use the link in the description down below, or if you go to rxbar.com forward slash Dylan and use code Dylan at checkout, you will get 25% off your first purchase. RX Bar has 11 different flavors. I've got six of them right here to taste. First up, coconut chocolate. RX Bars, they're gluten free, they're soy free, they're dairy free. They don't have any added sugar. I really like that. They don't have preservatives nor do they have artificial colors, nor artificial flavors. So they're pretty much like everything that you would want in a bar. Here we go. Three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, and two dates. And no BS. Chewy, coconutty, and a little sweet. I like that one. Did I mention that they don't have fillers either? So that's another thing. Peanut butter. Tastes like peanut butter. Peanut butter chocolate. Ooh, this is ooey gooey. Bluey. <laughs> Got egg whites for proteins. Easily accessible protein for your body to digest. Dates to bind them. And nuts for texture. Next up we got blueberry. All that's in here is real food and it tastes pretty great. Okay, this is now the winner. Out of those four, blueberry's the best. In my opinion, which is correct. They're great for all sorts of occasions. You could, uh, you know, toss it in your bag whenever you're going on the next plane flight, or if you go to the gym, or if you're going for a walk, or if you're gonna go eat at the office. And there's chocolate sea salt. I like the salt, I'll take a second bite. Last up is mixed berry. Mixed berry, mmm, fruity and delicious. It's a tight race between blueberry and mixed berry. Blueberry is my favorite. If I were to recommend a flavor, I would recommend blueberry. Go to rxbar.com forward slash Dylan or use the link in the description down below. Use code Dylan, D-Y-L-A-N, at your checkout to get 25% off your first purchase. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, eat the rest of these and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.